many occasions I have seen, uh, sadly, unfortunately, a father normally frustrated and upset that he is not seeing his children as frequently or in circumstances that suit him uh, as, as often as he should. There are many reasons why that may or may not be right, but I do suggest that when you think about your contact with your children, and uh, if I speak for a moment about this from the point of view of the person who has not got the care of the children, first of all, the reality is, I'm afraid, because the children are not in your care, you start from a relatively poor position. You are not in the daily control of that child, you're not providing that care on a daily basis and therefore you've got somebody else there who has an important role. If you're not respectful to that person, you will not be surprised to find they are not going to be amenable to your proposals. That's a simple observation really. So sometimes if you have all that anger and frustration that she's not doing something right as a mum or she doesn't seem to respect you or follow up to you, first of all you've got to try to build over that bridge to try to get some cooperation that is on a level that is workable. In other words, I often say to people, if you come away from a poor relationship, you, the best thing you should do is try to establish a working relationship at least for the purposes of your contact with your children. because. The children will benefit from observing you both as parents working together. And from a child's perspective, the last thing you want to see is the opposite of, of gripes and anger, doorstep arguments, uh, even telephone comments to the child as well as to the mother. The mother coming away from the telephone upset and angry, that doesn't help uh, in an environment where you are wanting that child to see you with some respect and with love and affection and to understand that notwithstanding you're separated now as parents they both you you both as parents love and support that child come what may